This is the Mahindra XUV500, one of the most eagerly anticipated SUVs of the year and has just been launched. A clarification here, it's not 500, it's not 500, it's 500 to go with Mahindra's naming scheme of Scorpio, Bolero, Duro, Rodeo, everything ends with an O, this also. Overdrive magazine had the clearest unmasked pictures of the XUV500 in the October issue and as you can see the SUV looks bang identical. But it's only when you really see it in the flesh do you appreciate how good looking it is. It all starts with this Mahindra jaw like grill which lends solid aggression to the nose. It reminds me very strongly of the Jeep Grand, the Jeep Grand Cherokee but it's got solid aggression. If you look at the bumper, the slashes over there, that's there to reduce visual mass. Those are blanks, those are not air intakes. The air intakes are here. And then the number plate neatly, neatly integrated into the bottom of the bumper. Overall, the nose is well done. There's nothing that jars or sticks out. Fog lamps right at the bottom. The headlamps, very stylized. Those are LED daytime running lamps. Projector style headlamps with contouring function. And then you move to the profile and you notice these muscular wheel arches. They cover 17 inch rims, shot with Bridgestone Dueller 17 inch tires. Disc brakes on all four corners. These tires are road tires, they're not on off road tires. So they give very good grip on the road and SUVs like this are used on the road. So that's a good compromise. The W8 badging, that's not a W8 engine, it's the W8 variant. We'll just pull back from the profile and you can see how well integrated the profile is. It's compact, it's not too high, it sits low but it still has good ground clearance. And then there are these neat touches. The front fenders, for instance. This is plastic. And then, of course, the bonnet, the doors, that's steel. But if you look, the colors, the integration, it's all been done very well. Panel caps are decent. They're not very tight. They're not Volkswagen quality. But they're tight and they're uniform all around. Turn indicators in the wing mirrors. And then these vertical door handles, which are very unique. Supposedly, they're inspired by a cheetah's paw. A nice touch. Though it would have been nice if the lock was also integrated with it. This shouldn't have been sticking out. The cheetah theme continues to this character line. The rear haunches that also eat into the window line. It's a nice stylish touch and it's supposedly inspired by cheetah ready to pounce in the savanna. And then that savanna theme continues to the rear tail lamps. If you look closely, there. You can see this tribal motif that's also inspired by the savanna. In fact, Mahindra says that the colors for the XUB 500 were chosen after the cars were parked in the Masai Mara, in the sun, in the open, to see how they look in the wild. I've seen all the colors and they all look good and they all complement the vehicle very well. Even the rear profile, very well done. I like something like say the Scorpio, whose nose was well done, but the rear, it looked like somebody had forgotten to style the rear. This one, every single angle looks good. There are these slashes in the D-pillar, and in white, with these black roof rails, it looks like it's got a floating roof. There you can see the rear. It's nicely finished, it complements the front very well. It is a compact SUV and it's got three rows of seats. So that's why with the third row up, there's hardly any boot space. You can probably put two plastic bags in there, that's about it. What you should be doing is fold these seats flat and they fold flat into the floor and that gives you a good boot area. You want more boot space, 
You can also fold the middle row flat into the floor. Just do that. There you can see a nice flat loading bay. Must also point out here, even the third row has its own aircon controls, own aircon vents. There's a separate condenser at the rear. Cup holders, all three rows get their own charging points. All three rows get their own reading lamps. There are no ugly aircon vents on the roof. It's all integrated into the pillars. Look at it from here. You can see the holes in the headrest. They're there to give slight amount of visibility to the rear passengers. So we'll put the seats up. It's quite easy. It doesn't take too much effort. So even women can do it without a problem. And then we'll jump into the interiors. Before we do that, show the space in the middle row. That's with the driver's seat adjusted to my driving position. I'm five foot nine. And as you can see, there's ample leg room, knee room, head room, even shoulder room is good. The floor is flat. This is after all a front wheel drive vehicle. So you can see three comfortably over here. The W8 variants get leather seats with two-tone colors. Ours is black and brown. We'll jump inside. And there, that's the interiors of the XUV500. Very, very stylish. Nicely integrated, good ergonomics, and the equipment levels. My God, they're exhaustive. Let's start with safety. This W8 variant, it gets in front airbags which is also standard on the w6 variant it gets abs it gets esp it gets curtain airbags let's show you the control for the esp wait for it to focus there you can see esp off above that is start stop what mahindra calls micro hybrid which is basically automatic start stop that's hill descent control it also has hill hold function so if you stop on a hill release the brake release the clutch the vehicle won't roll back. It's a nice touch. All variants get climate control. And this W8 variant is get a, gets a full-fledged multimedia system. That's a 6-inch LCD screen, a touch screen, which has everything. I'll show that to you in a bit. That's a 6-speed manual gearbox with overdrive on the top two gears. And that gives it that excellent mileage, 15.1 kilometers to the liter on the ARII tested cycle. That's the second best in any SUV. The best is in the Mahindra Bolero. Like I said, leather seats on this W8 variant. All variants get differing interior color schemes. Ours has got this light brown and black, which I don't like too much. But I've seen the full black, I've seen the beige. They all look nice. The center armrest, it hides a chilled glove box. There you can see it. Decently big also. It's not too small. I will just jump into the front and I'll show you the features. There are those door handles again. Right, the first thing, these clocks. Don't they look very nice? Very interesting to look at. It's also got the gear indicator, the trip meter there. It does this nice needle swinging trick. I'll just show that to you. Saw that? Looks cool. Cruise control on the steering wheel, standard. Volume controls here, controls for the Bluetooth. And here's that touch screen. It's got everything. Bluetooth. Bluetooth audio. And also inbuilt navigation. There. 
Just wait for the maps to load. Inbuilt GPS navigation, which works very well. It also has an inbuilt DVD player. So you can play movies on that. This is a cubby hole here. All the cubby holes are velvet lined, so it won't scratch your phone. There's a cubby hole here. So the quality is not that great. But for this price, pretty all right. There are two glove boxes. Both have decent space inside it. The driving position up front is nice and comfortable. You don't sit on top of the car. The center of gravity is much lower than in other Mahindras. So it doesn't have that unnerving top heavy feel. The engine is the 2.2 liter MHawk engine from the Scorpio. Makes 140 horsepower. Gives it good performance but even better torque. So it's got solid pulling ability. They can see that profile of the XUV. So overall it's a good looking XUV, it's loaded with features and the pricing is just incredible. 10.8 for the W6 which has everything that you could possibly want, 11.95 for this W8 variant with every single thing. And then if you want all wheel drive you can get that in a couple of months that will cost you 12.88 lakhs. All these prices are ex showroom New Delhi and these are introductory prices. Chief Executive Rajesh Jajurikar said that these prices will hold good for another 2-3 months. So I suggest you run out and go and look at an XUV 500. This is Overdrive.